today? We're going to the Buddha district or the castle district because we're going to the castles here in Buddha. Out of these steps right here, we are entering the Buddha Castle District. Let's see what we'll find here. And right away, when I finished the last clip of me talking, we turn around and we see these beautiful buildings here and it looks just amazing from the get-go. It's beautiful and Evie is leading the way to the place that she wanted to see. It is the Bastion. It looks like a Disney castle. And as you can see, she looks like a Disney princess. I can't keep pretending you don't exist. Hate the lies, you know I can't resist, yeah. So right now we are in front of the Fisherman's Bastion. The place that Evie wanted to come and it looks beautiful. It's right here and it looks, looks very nice. And on this side, this is the one overlooking the city. So this side is going to be towards the Pasht side of the city. It looks beautiful. It really does look like a Disney castle. So as you can see, all those different towers here. And then you have all of that. And Evie right there. It looks beautiful. Let's see more. So right now, we are on the Fisherman's Bastion and we are overlooking the city of Budapest right here. Beautiful views here from the Fisherman's Bastion and overall from this side of Budapest. After many hours and thousands of photos, we're still in the Fisherman's Bastion because it looks like a Disney castle as you look here. It just looks incredibly beautiful. And you know, if you take a princess to a Disney castle like this one right here, there is no way you're gonna leave without a thousand of photos. And from here, we're probably gonna head further to the Buddha castle, but we still want to see from the top of this little castle made for Evie. So let's take some photos, some videos still, and let's go for it. I should cut it off, but I can't get enough. I'm not trying to keep it business when you got me addicted. And now we're finally done with the Fisherman's Bastion, and now we're heading to... The Buddha Castle. Which is somewhere right there on the hillside of Buddha. So... Let's get going. here has this medieval architecture and style and it really does look beautiful it's very clean very nicely like you said it has a beautiful style it's very clean and it seems like they're making sure that it stays that way so it's a very cool experience so now we're gonna head to the Buddha castle and the whole area is very quiet I could probably use some heartbreak to get moving of the way you let me down You fill me up with broken promises Cause you never keep them I'm so sick of the way you let me down So All my time 
Right now we are in front of the Buddha castle, the Hungarian gallery, and we have the whole Pest because we're on the Buddha side, so we have the whole Pest in front of us on from the viewpoint. And we have a nice statue over here in front of the Buddha castle, and we're heading to the viewpoint right there. Then we're gonna head down through all the alleyways. As long as I don't have to stay with you. So we're still by the Buddha castle, but I have to say one thing is that it's very beautiful and Evie just said that too, that it's very beautiful. It's very beautiful. <laughs> and uh, we both said that, so it's true. And not only you have beautiful views here, but also things like, for example, here a nice walkway, a very narrow walkway that you can get a nice viewpoint. And then you have walkways here for it's like the other viewpoint. So it's very cool, many viewpoints and Something that we really like about this place is the viewpoints are actually good to see the city. You have the panoramic view of the whole Pest side of the Buddha first. Because right now we are on the Buddha side. So on the Buddha side, looking over the Pest side. And right there, um, a very good example of the number two train in his natural habitat, going left and going to the right. The one that we took yesterday when we were actually going to that island right there if you zoom in that is the margaret island we've been to yesterday it's going to be in the top right corner of the screen right now if you want to see more about this island the parliament building and then from there we see the bridges one bridge we see evie we see the second bridge right there and then from there we also see the basilica that's the saint stefan's basilica and then from there we also see the Budapest Eye right here and the Danube River all along. I don't know which way I'm going. I don't need to as long as I don't have to stay with you. You fill me up with broken promises. So right now we are in the Castle Garden Bazaar and it's a very beautiful garden in front on the lower side of the Buddha side where the Buddha castle is and this is a place that Evie actually found and we had it on the map selected to come here to see the garden because a princess like this has to see the castles, gardens Everything like that. Uh, today is my day. <laughs> Definitely her day. So walking out of Castle Garden Bazaar, we found something very cool. So here is the Castle Garden Bazaar, and right here we are on the largest branch in the world. Truly an amazing experience. This bench doesn't end in any ways as you can see it goes all the way down there somewhere and on the other side as you can see there's a tram coming and there's no way to find the end of this grand holy trail trinity of benches the best experience we have ever had totally recommend it totally recommend to check this bench the because it's thinking for the first and that's not on a serious note because I think it's not the best thing in Budapest because Budapest is very very good, we really love it here but it was just something really cool to see we just found this by accident and we we're like kind of shocked how long this bench is and whoever made this, what did they think of when doing this bench? what was their idea? just putting like, what about we put the longest bench ever in Budapest? Because here is great view yeah, great view this view but we're bad. So what's the harm in one more sin? 
So right now we are under the Buddha Castle Funicular. And it's right here, it's called the Budavari Cyclo in Hungarian. But basically, as you can see, it is the cars going up and down. And yeah, we've been sitting, we actually were sitting on the top right here, watching from the top. And it was closed, but uh, supposedly it's open now. And as you can see, one of them is going right now, leaving the station, going up. The one is Margit and the second is Gerard. So they have even names. And which one is coming to us? Geller. Geller, right here. So we're here. And the cool thing about them is they are made with, as you can see, like these steps, meaning that everyone is like a step above every like couple, of, like a meter or so. Everyone is a little bit higher than the other one before. So basically, everyone has a good view of the city. So that's gonna be it for today. But before we end this video, a couple of things that we wanted to mention very quickly. First off, if you like the music in this video, check out the epidemic sound. It's gonna be linked down below. And if you choose to sign up through that link, you'll get for today's free. Second off, if you want to support our channel, check out our Patreon and website. If you choose to become our Patreon, well, there are things coming back your way because we send out monthly postcards from the places that we visit. Some of them but at the location. And others taken from our photos, stitched together into a postcard and with handmade drawings on the back. And last but not least, if you want to join a travel community. Check out the Facebook group Travel the World. If you're into that kind of stuff, check it out. It's gonna be linked down below. So that's gonna be it for today. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We hope you guys enjoyed this video once again and we'll see you next time. <laughs>